Good evening, Canada. I'd like to take this opportunity to address the nation in regard to some important issues. As you know, we live in a country uh, that is... Excuse me. Oh, hi, Brent. Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. Um, I was kind of wondering what you're doing. Well, I, I'm speaking to the nation. I'm addressing Canada. Oh, hello, Canada. Um, is this something you have to do right now? Is now a bad time? Sort of. For me, anyway. I kind of had the next 30 minutes planned out. Couldn't you do your thing later? This is really the only half hour in the week they let me do anything. The rest is pretty much Canadian Idol. But what about my message? Well, you could do a mass emailing. You can CC the nation. You know, I like the way you think. Really? Well, you could make me minister of something. <laughs> I gotta go. And now it's time for our weekly look at all things Dog River with Wanda Dollard. Hi, Wanda. Hey, Bev. It's Beverly. Hiya, Shamie. <laughs> Wanda, <laughs> you are a delight. But back to Dog River. I understand you had a very special visitor come to town this week. Mr. Prime Minister, what do you make of this controversy? Now, look, I like prairie dogs and I like gophers. But sadly, neither were given the respect they deserve under the previous Liberal government. If you had to choose one, which would it be? Well, I guess I'd pick prairie dogs. No, no gophers. I meant to say gophers. That's the first time a sitting prime minister has visited Dog River since Stephen Baker in 1963. Really? That's great, Wanda. Both conservative prime ministers from the West. Well, we'll check in with you next week. Oh, but I've got more fun facts. We know. Hey, Nick. Good news. Suitcase? Don't tell me the Howler's shutting down and you're moving away. Shutting down? Hardly. We just had the best week of our lives. Really? There was a huge surge in out-of-town subscriptions because of Oscar's trashy online Howler. It's got readers in high places. Now some online rag is saying I'm responsible for sea monsters on the prairie. Sea monsters. I mean, do people just make up whatever they want and call it news? Pretty much, yeah. Unbelievable. What a time to be Prime Minister. It's been a real boon to the business, so we're going on a vacation to Greece. But one good week wouldn't cover your annual losses. What losses? We own the building, we got plenty of supplies, and the paper only costs pennies to print. Plus, we've always sold corn liquor out the back door. That, that's off the record. Hello, Brent here. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the little bell notification, too. That way you'll always be alerted whenever we're posting a new video. All right then.